G'day mate, how are ya? My name's Tammy Bryant Buto and this is Tech Tales. Story time. Sit down, pull up a chair, get cozy, and let's explore what is the Raspberry Pi. When I first heard about the Raspberry Pi, it was back in 2012 when I was going to a lot of hackathons, hanging out at makerspaces with lots of my friends that were just interested in building cool stuff. Nerds were pumped. Everyone was excited to be able to get their hands on it. I remember when I saw my first one and I was like, that is so cool. Like, what are we going to build with it? So 2012, like, you know, that was so fun. That whole idea of being able to build whatever you want, whatever you you can dream up and then just make it with this really affordable computer, this tiny little computer you could bring with you anywhere. And it was just awesome, like so portable and so hackable. The Raspberry Pi has been very popular. There's actually over 40 million Raspberry Pis that have been sold all over the world, which is epic. That's just an amazing achievement from the team that created the Raspberry Pi. So who were they? To tell that story, we'll have to go back to 1978 in the UK. So the Raspberry Pi was created in the UK and 1978 was the year that one of the main creators, Eben Upton, was born. So when Eben was younger and he was working as a professor at Cambridge, you know, he worked at a lot of technology companies too as an engineer. He just really wanted to create an affordable computer that was also a breakable computer, something really cheap that you could get your hands on, that you could play around with, you could have fun with. And one of his other motivations was, you know, he really wanted students to be able to get access to this so they could learn more about computers, which I think is really cool. That's a great motivation. The other thing that Eben wanted to do was kind of create like a new BBC micro. And I'm from Australia, so I don't remember like having the BBC micro growing up, but it was really popular in England. So the BBC is like, you know, this big, huge, famous like media company. You would have heard of them for sure. And you know, why is a media company creating it a computer? Like seems a little bit weird, right? But you know, maybe not these days. The reason the BBC did this at the time was they wanted to create a computer and then they wanted to create a companion TV show. So you could buy the computer, then watch the TV show and learn how to use a computer at home. At the time, a lot of people had computers, but at work and maybe at school, in the library. And there's this idea that you can get a computer and you could bring it home and you can learn how to use it with your family. People were really excited about this. So Eben was like, what if we create the next BBC micro, something affordable, something cool that people can just get and play around with and learn and get really excited about technology again. But when I think of England and the UK, like I think of so many awesome things like scones, crumpets, like some of my most favorite foods ever. I just absolutely love going to the UK, like Big Ben, like love it all, it's awesome. But like, you know, often we don't think about technology coming from the UK, but you should, because there's so much amazing technology that was invented in the UK and also by folks who are from the UK. So some of those things are the Turing machine. So Alan Turing, he um, created a lot of amazing technology. Another really cool thing created by the English is ARM. And that's like a super popular technology now. And you know, a lot of people will say the steam engine, the steam engine was created in the UK and that is obviously amazing as well. So lots of cool stuff. How did the Raspberry Pi become so popular? So 40 million devices, that's a lot. How did that happen? When did that happen? Like, was there a huge spike or something like that? I thought it would be interesting to think back through time and understand like some of the key moments in the history of the Raspberry Pi. One of the ones that like I totally think about that comes to mind is the TV show, Mr. Robot. So I'm sure like many of you have seen it and you'll remember back to an episode that aired in like 2015. Um, I was like watching that every single time a new episode came out, I was on it, I was checking it out. I remember there's a bit in Mr. Robot where they use a Raspberry Pi to hack Steel Mountain, which is this data center that's totally offline and they just use a Raspberry Pi to do it. So I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I wonder if being on television like helped make the Raspberry Pi more popular. And yeah, like straight after 
Mr. Robot, there's like a huge spike in Google searches for Raspberry Pi. Just kidding, that didn't happen. So like actually what did happen was that right before the Mr. Robot episode in 2015, there was another huge spike, like a few months before that episode aired. And it was because the Raspberry Pi 2 came out and this just got like tons of press. Like if you look up Raspberry Pi news, and also just word of mouth, you know, like most nerds already knew about the Raspberry Pi back when it first came out in 2012. Everyone was just talking about it. It was so popular. But then when Raspberry Pi 2 came out, everyone was really excited, like so pumped to be able to see what it was like to buy it, to just get their hands on it. And then a few months later, it aired on television, which was like, wow, cool. Like now the whole world, not just, you know, hackers and makers are learning what the Raspberry Pi is and what you can do with it. The other thing I really wanted to learn about and uncover a little bit of the details on is what are the most popular projects that people are uh, running on the Raspberry Pi. So I thought a cool way to figure this out was to look at GitHub trends and different types of top projects. So I checked that out. The number one most popular project for the Raspberry Pi, um, when I'm looking at it using my stealth skills to identify this, is Home Assistant. So Home Assistant's pretty cool. I've used that myself, and that's what we're gonna do our project on in a few days. So we're gonna use a Raspberry Pi 4, we're gonna install Home Assistant with Docker Compose, and we're gonna build a smart home. And it's like $165 with a touch screen and just the Home Assistant open source project on GitHub. The second most popular project is called PyHole, and that is a project to block ads. The third most popular project is called Magic Mirror, which is this cool smart home project. I've tried that one as well. That one's really fun. Definitely recommend it. You just need a two-way mirror, a screen, and then you've got your own smart mirror. The fourth one is a robotics framework called Johnny5. Next one, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but it's like N mm, or like NNN. -N -N. It's a uh, terminal file manager. Then coming in at number six, super popular project, like lots of videos on this and news and everything. It's called RetroPi. And so this enables you to create your own um, like video gaming device to be able to play, play retro games. So it's like a retro console and that's rad to RetroPi. Next up, we've got QT, then Pi VPN, Cubrite, which is a Minecraft project, and then the 10th one on our list is called Rust Spotify, which is a Spotify project. So those are our top 10 most popular right now Raspberry Pi project. Are you interested in learning how we can build something together with the Raspberry Pi 4? Come back on Thursday um, to my channel. Make sure to hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the video. Get yourself a Raspberry Pi 4. Get yourself a, uh, a touch screen. I'm going to have the links as well. Um, in the description so you can get those and we're just going to hook it all up we're going to install home assistant using docker compose and you'll create your own smart home so i can't wait to see everyone's results It'll be really fun if you share with me what you built the other thing too is like i'd love to hear if you have suggestions for what technologies we should look at next other cool stuff that you're interested in building i'd love to do that so let me know i'm here i hope you're having a good day and i hope this made it a little bit better see you soon